Hi, I'm Silvershine. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be answering some viewer questions that I've gotten over the past couple of days and announce the winner of the $500 gift card giveaway that I was having as well. Um, I want to wish everyone tomorrow a happy Mother's Day. If you're a mother in real life or an SL, I hope that you have a wonderful day and enjoy it. First, I'm going to be answering YouTube questions that I got and then plurk ones that I've gotten so far. Um, the first question is from Quincy and it is, what are your favorite subscription boxes and why? Um, some of my favorite subscription boxes so far are Luxbox, Decocrate, and Builder's Box. I really love Luxbox because it kind of fits with my style. Sometimes there's something edgy in there. And then the builds that Scarlet Creative gives are, they are simply amazing. They are some of the most amazing builds I've seen. Um, with Deco Crate, I felt like there wasn't enough home decor in SL, and I was really happy when that box was created. And so far, I really haven't been disappointed except for one of the themes, which is kind of an Alice in Wonderland theme, and that's not my thing at all. So that one I was really kind of disappointed with. But for the most part, their themes will always have something that everyone will like, I think. Well, at least so far, it's been that way. Um, in Builder's Box, again, there haven't been enough builds in SL as of late. A lot of things have been looking a little bit repetitive to me, so I was really happy when that was created, and that box was amazing. The first one they did for May. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're going to do for August. Thank you for your question, Quincy. The second question is from Gab Gabrielle Summerly, Gabby. Um, what is your favorite store? One for deco, decor and furniture, and what is your favorite clothing store? Um, my favorite store for decor and furniture, I have a few. I don't like have a number one favorite, but I have a few favorites. I love The Loft. I like Aria. I love What's Next. I, I want to count Trez Blah, but they don't really do decor. Their decor comes from their gotchas, and I end up loving their gotchas. And there's a few other that are probably slipping from my mind right now. And my favorite clothing store? I have a few, again, um, some of my favorites are, of course, Blueberry. I mean, who doesn't love Blueberry? I like Adams a lot. I like Tara. Um, for shoes, I love Empire and Rain. Uh, I'm probably forgetting a, a few stores right now, but yeah, thank you for the question. Um, question three, what are some great makeup applier places to check for? Makeup appliers. This is something that I myself struggle with. I love makeup in SL. I'm not that big of a person with it in real life, mostly due to funds from time to time that I don't go to me places that I'd have to like wear makeup, but two of the places I always go to are Fichi and Izzy's. Now Izzy's is amazing with her makeup and I think over the last two years the water drop she did for the whole body and the sand last year at Severn Vet Fest that she did for the whole body and face, those are amazing. So if you're looking for good makeup stores, I would definitely check out Izzy's and then Fichi as well. Thank you for the question. Um, number four, what is the best subscription box in Second Life you like? I think I answered the first question because I really can't, like out of the three I listed earlier, I don't think that I could pick just one and my plurk just went off. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, I really don't think I could just pick one but it would probably be the three that I mentioned earlier. Thank you for the question. Um, question number five. Would you ever do, do a tutorial for first time users of Photoshop? Would I ever do a tutorial? In my honest opinion, as of this date right now, at this time, this moment, I would say no. 
I say no because I am still learning things myself. I mean, I have learned a lot over the past three years about Photoshop, but I do not have the confidence or the knowledge, in my opinion, to give someone a tutorial when there have been quite a few great tutorials out there. Case in point, in my last video, I mentioned Dabra Roth Avalo. I'm still butchering her name. I am so sorry. But she has quite, quite a few tutorials out that I think would be helpful to people who are just starting out. Thank you for the question. Question number six. What do I do? What do you do in your spare time in Second Life? That's actually a good question. What do I do in my spare time? In my spare time, I talk to a few friends that I have. Um, I kind of explore a bit. I gamble. A horrible, horrible vice that I have. I enjoy playing greed and no devil and going to um, fishbowl and playing like ice cream truck and um, doggy style. Like, I'm a gaming whore. Like, I openly admit that I am a gaming, gambling whore, and it's it's an issue, <laughs> but I enjoy doing it. Um, I also kind of stand around my platform, I res out stuff I have, or I take pictures, or I am hanging out with the SL husband, but we're really both just kind of logged in, but we're watching stuff in the background, like Netflix shows or YouTube or something. So I think that's basically kind of all I do in my spare time and second life, really. Thank you for the question. Um, number seven, what's kept you sticking around? Is it the people, the designers, etc. from Lark? Um, what has kept me sticking around second life? I like, I like photography. I like the fact that you can express yourself through your photography and express your point of view. And maybe you'll find someone who appreciates your point of view. And also in Second Life, there's a whole bunch of things that you can get inspired by, like visiting different sims or people creating amazing products that you just wanna take and create something out of it, be it clothing or an accessory or something. That's kind of what's been keeping me sticking around for the most part. The second part is, there have been a few people I've met over the years. Some of them are still around a little bit, but they've kept me around because it's like, once you make really deep and meaningful friendships in Second Life, they can transfer over to your real life. But sometimes due to distance or etc., Second Life is really the only place that you can catch them and actually talk to them. So that's kept me sticking around for also. Thank you for the question. Um, question number eight from Strawberry Singh. What inspires you to take pictures and vlog and etc.? Um, what inspires me to take pictures? I mean, I could be having a bad day and I just want to express or attempt to express anger or I found an item in Second Life that I really, really like and I want to take a picture of and... I guess express my point of view. I just wanna, cause I feel like it's beautiful, so I wanna like give it justice and bring my own point of view of its beauty out to others, if that makes sense. So that's what inspires me to take pictures. Um, what inspires me to vlog? Honestly, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of try something new. I guess kind of like how with I took pictures, I wanted to express my point of view and give myself a voice and build up my confidence a little bit, I guess, so I guess that's what kind of inspires me to vlog. Then I, f I really do feel like I have a different point of view because I have a whole bunch of um, vlogging ideas already written down and whatnot, so I guess that's what inspires me. Thank you for the question. Um, first question from Plurk from Alicia. What made you start vlogging? <laughs> I just answered that question. <laughs> Um, thank you for a question, but I really just answered it. I just want to express my own point of view and try something different. Um, question number two from Plurk. How did you find Second Life? That's actually a really 
good question. It's pretty interesting. I found Second Life from a friend of mine that isn't around much and I haven't spoken to that much in the last two years. But I met her on another website long ago and she was talking about how she created clothes for Second Life and whatnot. And because I wanted to like hang out with her more and get to know her even better, I joined. And that was back in early 2013. So that's how I ended up joining. And then she wasn't around that much, so I just kind of started doing my own thing and exploring more. And the more time I ended up spending on here, the more I ended up loving it. Thank you for the question. Question number three, also from Alicia. What advice would you give someone just coming to Second Life? That's a great question. What advice would I give someone? I would say, first things first, ignore the trolls that are at the um, welcoming ports. Like that's, that they are not a representation of all the people in Second Life. And it's not a represent good representation of what Second Life is actually about. And, um, like, I know it's hard in the beginning because you, most times, some people, people know one another. Someone's bringing someone into Second Life, but for those people who are just starting out with no one, it gets better. You'll find friends relatively quickly, and most people, most of them are really nice and welcoming and will answer your IM if you're asking for help in a polite manner and not, like, trying to hit on them right off the bat like advice don't hit on people right away like don't do it it makes people block you or ignore you like I do like I will ignore you if you're a day old and you're hitting on me because I'm not interested and if you took the moment to read my profile you would know I'm not interested so that's my advice um I'm looking at plurk because I got a plurk alert Question from Okninka. I know who this person is. She's the creator for Uu Studios, and I love her poses. Her question is, what's your favorite thing to do in SL? What hidden gem of a location have you found? My favorite thing to do, I think it's photography, honestly. For the most part, that's kind of my favorite thing to do in SL. Um... What hidden gem location? I found a sim back in 2014, but it's no longer up. But that sim was amazing. You could res there. It had really beautiful location and trees and whatnot. Another location I would say would be Blythe, but Blythe just closed the other day. So now I'm kind of on the search again for another great sim where you can res at and create things because you can't always do everything on a platform. So that's the end of the questions that I received from YouTube and from Plurk. Um, I actually have a question to you, got to you, to you my viewers. Um, I've had a few suggestions to keep doing discussions with other vloggers like I did for my last video. Would you guys be interested in seeing more of those? And if you're a vlogger, would you want to take part in one of those with me? Because I honestly don't know that many vloggers. I mean, I know of vloggers, but I'm not personally friends with a lot of people. I'm such an introvert. It's so sad. But if you guys would be interested in those, could you leave me a comment or a plurk or even a private plurk letting me know if you're interested in those? Because if so, I would think about doing them maybe once a week or once every two weeks so that would be about you can have four of them in a month or two a month or something i guess just just let me know in the comments your thoughts or any suggestions you have about anything i guess um it's time to pick our giveaway winner it is 803 slt so i found this random generator on the web and i entered all the names in so let's click pick one and see who won. The winner is Strawberry Sane. Congratulations. You won a 500 Linda gift card to Empire. I think you're online right now. 
in Worlds, so I will pass that over as soon as I'm done finishing up with this recording. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in again, and thank you so much for all the questions and for all the support I've gotten so far. I know I'm just starting out, and I know I'm still sounding pretty shy and whatnot, but I really appreciate all the encouragement that I've been getting from different people. It, it's, it's really appreciated. Well, I hope that you guys have a great day, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you're from, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.